It's time now for some real education. Uh, we're looking today at one of a very interesting artist. His name is Paul Gustave Louis Christophe Doré. He's one of those guys that's such an important artist. He's simply known by the name Doré, his last name. He was a French artist, a philosopher, a printmaker, an illustrator, a comic artist, caricaturist, and a sculptor who worked primarily in wood engraving. That's what he is most known for. Born in Strasbourg by the age of five, Doré was always, already a prodigy, a five-year-old boy who was making drawings and illustrations that were way, way, way above his age level. He uh, was incredibly mature. By the time he was 15, Doré began his career working as a caricaturist for the French paper Le Journal Pour Rire, the Journal of Laughter. Subsequently, he went on to win commissions to, de to depict scenes from major works of Western, li uh, Western literature. He illustrated all of the works of Cervantes, Rabelais, Balzac, Milton, and Dante. He was working on a set of Shakespeare prints by the time he died. Take a look at this image from the Bible, which is perhaps his most famous famous and well-known set of wood engravings. Absolutely beautiful. You have the angel Michael there in the background uh, at the gate of what was paradise. You can see the stream, the beams of the sun, which is a metaphor for the, the visage and the face of God shining down on the angel as the angel Michael, the, the archangel, the warrior angel, banishes Adam and Eve into this world now, a world where uh, nature was not friendly to man, where the animals were opposed to man and woman, where Adam was going to have to break his back digging to be able to feed him and his family. Eve now would experience pain and tribulation in childbirth. And you can see that beautiful, uh, bright, lit up world of the Garden of Eden that is behind Michael and this rather bedraggled natural world, leaflessness, right? It's much more a desert scape than it is some kind of uh, a beautiful, bountiful, e Edenic garden. It's a, it's a long, hard, road they're going to have to ro to go together, the two of them. And so uh, you, you get a sense of how much power Doré was able to put into these wood carvings. It's just blocks of wood in which he carved out these images and then inked them and was able to print them. So it's kind of a remarkable, certainly it's a long lost art. And the, the, the simple uh, amount, the, he's prodigious in producing these images all throughout the Bible and most of the great writers, writers of Western culture. So all week long on Instant Classics, we're going to be considering the work of Gustave Doré.